Mayhem is a Baja race that is sponsored by the University of Louisville. It's held overnight, so teams get to compete in a different atmosphere than they're typically used to doing during the SAE season. They can bring their cars that are new, try new concepts, see how things work, try new drivers. Um, it's kind of just a fun event for everyone to come test out what they have and what they want to do for the next season. In 2008, Midnight Mayhem started as just a fun event for teams to come to in the fall. Uh, they spent all year designing and building these cars to only get to race them three times a year for the official SAE events. So this is really just a way for teams to come out, have fun, hang out with each other, and also do a little bit of racing and testing. Midnight Mayhem is a one-day event where teams start off by going through technical inspection, uh, which includes vehicle inspection, engine check, and brake check. After they pass all three inspections, they move on to the dynamic events. Dynamic events are short, fun events that help, the, help determine the car's starting position for the endurance race. After teams have finished all the dynamic events, they get a short break, uh, get to start prepping their cars for the endurance race. Around 7 o'clock, teams are gridded on the track, and at 8 o'clock, the uh, green flag drops for the start of the four-hour endurance race that ends at midnight. Since the beginning of Mayhem, we've strived to continuously improve the event year in and year out. And we've done so um, by incorporating dynamic events during the day to kind of give teams something to do outside of working on their cars and just fine tuning for an endurance race that starts at eight o'clock at night. Um, since then, we've also incorporated Baja Mobile, which we're the only non-sanctioned SAE event to use that software. We have transponder systems now that do lap counting for us. And the list can go on and on, but um, we're still looking for ways to improve year in and year out, and we can't wait for you to see what we have this year.